Next job on the block is going to be this pinion seal. As you can kind of see, the automatic uh, undersealing function has currently been very active. So yeah, going to get that rear pinion seal. I've already loosened some of them with the prop shaft bolt tool. So I'll go make sure it's popped into uh, too high and continue undoing those bolts because I can't quite get to the bolts on the top. Well, I might have just enough slack now, but I'll get them all undone and then uh, go from there. All right, so I got the prop shaft off and there's quite a bit of free play. That's about how much free play I've got before it starts turning the tire. I don't know. So I'm not sure if that's normal or what, but I'm not dealing with that right now. I'm just replacing the automatic under seal unit. As you can see, it's very effective at, the, at this point anyways. So the plan from here on out is I'm going to go ahead and actually, when I take this off, I'm going to go and also when I torque it back up, I'm going to go ahead and bolt the flange back to it on those two bolts. And it should be just close enough. We might not be. We'll have to see. But I use that and put the handbrake on to hold the hold this pinion still. Otherwise, I'll just remove two of the bolts, put it in there, and put a breaker bar or a pry bar across them to uh, be able to get enough torque to undo it. All right, I'm not expecting this to work, but uh, I've dropped the tire back on the ground. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can't get that uh, off or move the car on top of me. Yeah, that ain't going uh, with that anyways. I'll probably have to put the car in four-wheel drive and then uh, lock the transmission up so it doesn't roll back over my over me. Which would suck. Okay, so this is how I broke it loose. I've got uh, one pry bar going up holding against the bolt, and it's actually not even holding against the other bolt. It's actually running against the uh, socket. The uh, So when I tor torque it up, I'm going to grease that real good with some anti-seize so that there's little to no drag between the socket and the pry bar. And then I've just got a uh, little cheater pipe on my socket wrench and uh, yeah, she's coming out real easy all right well got her off came off nice and easy after I got that and you can kind of see the wear ring where that seal's been riding and completely chewed it up now I've got to go transfer the uh, mudguard flange off of that. So I'm going to do that outside from so I'm not laying under here all the time. Alright, got it cleaned up a little bit. You can really see that wear ring in there. Now i got to figure out how to get this mudguard off. I guess I just, I'm going to blast it a little bit with... Uh, Brake clean, and then I'm going to try and uh, just prize it off, I guess. So hopefully this will work. Got the uh, bearing puller or gear puller set up with a spike across the top there and uh, on the mud collar. Hope that works. Might end up using some heat. Don't know. We'll see. Well, strangely enough, worked like a charm. Popped her right off. So now I guess I just got to press her onto the uh, new drive flange, which is sitting over there. And we'll be ready and in business to start reassembling it. I assume, well, I got to take off the uh, housing and whatnot, so I guess not even close. I got to take off the, uh, the seal retaining housing still, and I guess we'll see just how much uh, gear oil drips out all over the place. All right, so... For this flange here, that is the seal retaining housing, I think that's what it's called. It's got uh, six of these hex head slotted screws with uh, the keeper plates that go in between them. I don't know if you can tell, but there's one, there's one over here, and then there's one on top with the tabs that bend over and lock onto the flats. So I can't figure out what size they are, and I can't really get a socket in, so what I do is I take a screwdriver, 
put it in there after I've bent the tabs down and sometimes they're so stiff I can't turn them well that one just went but uh, a trick with these screwdrivers you notice how it's wear in cross section well that's what you clamp on with one of these and let me tell you it works a charm for getting those stuck screws out well I got all the screws off and uh, I don't see a joint washer in there, as they call it. Uh, basically just a paper gasket. I see nothing of the sort on here, whatsoever. No. Yeah. There's apparently a top side to this. Well, it looks like that hole would line up with that, so that makes sense that that would go on the bottom, so I guess that's how it'll go. But yeah, there's no gasket in there, so... I'll just smear some Hylomar blue on there before I put it back together, and I won't worry about a gasket because there was none that when I took it off even though the workshop manual said there should be so well I'm going to clean this up I'm going to take it out there and show you guys what the uh, housing looks like well that'll explain why this wasn't sealing all that well um there's like literally nothing left of the that seal you see how chewed up that lip is there you go yeah there's like literally nothing left I mean the spring is flopping about in there so yeah that explains why that wasn't sealing all that hot all right so we're just going to transfer stuff knock out that seal and uh, put her back together I guess I could have taken the seal out in situ but got it out yeah there was a real thin one all the way around there uh, gasket but I'm just going to smear the crap out of it with the Hylomar blue and we'll call it good if it leaks too much and it's a problem I'll go back and order an actual gasket but uh, I don't have one and my gasket paper is all too thick for that so all right I use the Hylomar Spread around the seal and inside the joint and pressed in the new seal. It's a good cortico one. I've heard that they're the the good kind, not the Brit part crap part uh, ones. And I paste the uh, lip towards the inside so that if the uh, if there's any pressure in the uh, case, it actually tightens the seal. And that's how you install a seal so that the uh, oil doesn't, oil, grease, whatever, doesn't work its way out. So I'm probably going to go ahead and clean off this inside face one more time. Spread a nice, le uh, nice thick layer of the Hylomar on there. And let that flash off as I, as I move the uh, mud guard onto the new flange. All right. Well, I've got the uh, seal retaining housing back on and the screws tightened and uh, with the lock tabs bent over. Next step is to install the drive flange. Now, I did press that on. I just used uh, the old drive flange and a piece of pipe to help uh, to pound that on there with a four pound hammer. Gentle tapping and she went right on, no problem. Now, this is the important part, if you'll focus. This race here, where the seal runs on, you have to grease it before you put it back on, or use some EP90. Grease is the best stuff, though, because it'll stay on there. Because if you start turning that, just like with the wheel bearing seals, if you start turning it dry, it'll chew itself into nothingness in very short order. So I'm going to go ahead and grease that, install it, and then torque it. I believe the spec is 85 pound-feet, so get that done. All right, I got her torqued up, got the uh, cotter pin in there, so now I just got to put the uh, prop shaft back on. Then I'll be done. All right, well, it's all done. All the bolts are tight, and the seal's in place. So after about 100 miles, I'm going to go through and recheck all those bolts, make sure that they are nice, stayed nice and tight. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that should be the end of the, uh, well, automatic underseal feature. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Ooh, 
a lot of sun glare. Pop. And there is a fair amount of play. Uh, I've now got the whole vehicle in the air. I can rotate that thing. Should be able to. Uh, I guess I don't have it in two wheel drive completely. Gonna pull that out. But, uh, so. Uh, I've just got the prop shaft, well, propped up over here. So. Drop the tire back onto the ground. Oop, that's my arm. Get, the, get out the, and the seal ho retaining housing, or whatever it is. So you notice how it's square and it's uh, squ anywhere. I mean, like literally. I'll just smear some uh, Hylomar blue on there before I put it back together. Focus, come on. With the uh, the uh, with uh, with it. Real.